Okay, so maybe our target system has a website. Not too uncommon, right? I think pretty much everybody has a website now that's available to them. Well, using some of our functions from our previous lab, such as an NS lookup, we could pull the IP addresses of these websites. Using that IP address, we could use a tool such as Netcat, maybe even Telnet if you choose to do that, to try some banner grabbing. Basically what we're doing there, banner grabbing is a technique that's used to elicit additional information from the actual hosting server, such as an OS version, the type of host or role, uh, any application versions that may be running on the system. So you can get a lot of valuable information out of there. Again, the tool we're going to use is Netcat. If you want to see a manual for it, then open up your terminal window, type man, NC, hit enter. You hit your space bar. This is going to jump you through page at a time. You hit Q if you want to jump out and you're back here at your prompt. Now some sites you won't grab as much information as from other sites. It depends on if sites are hosted. It depends on if a website is permanently routing traffic through one system to another so that you can't retrieve the information. There's a lot of different techniques and such that can be used to hide server-based information. Let's see what we can grab though. So what I'm going to do is in this terminal here I need to start by getting the IP address of the server of interest. So again NSLOOKUP as we did in our previous lab CNN.com so we're doing a name service lookup and we are now resolving using this server we're resolving this domain to this IP. You see there's two IPs here. The two different IPs should tell us that hey they're probably load balancing based on the amount of traffic that's coming in that's probably gonna help them out so they can handle all of the requests that are coming through. But we have an IP. Let's go ahead and if you select that right click and copy that'll give us a good place to start from. Now if we come over here to invoke netcat NC is the command. Okay we are now telling the system we want to use netcat in verbose mode so we're going to use a dash v and the system netcat is going to want to say okay so who are we connecting to we're going to connect to one of the sites IP addresses on port 80 why because it's a web server it's an HTTP request that we're going to send here we hit enter and now we have an open port and it's waiting here's your command that you want to type We're basically looking for a header request here to be answered so that we can get some information back from the server. But you can see here it's not coming up with a lot of information. We're even getting an HTTP response here that it's moved permanently, almost like they're routing traffic from this server to the actual CNN server so that you can't retrieve and grab a lot of information. There's other ways of going around and figuring out what that is just to confirm here I'm gonna push up and if you remember we had two addresses here 26 was the second one so let's see if we can get anything here again same commands here hit enter twice and we're getting the same result so here's what we're doing netcat verbose mode IP address port 80 the connection is open and established we're sending a command to the server for a header return we're hitting enter twice from here okay so hit enter twice you're gonna get a result that comes back now in this example we're not getting a lot of great juicy details about our web server our target our host of interest so let's come back over here and let's perform this one more time or well, maybe a lesser site alright so there's a website out there called rhtubs.com and they have an IP address associated to them that's listed right here let's see if we would get something different from a site like this NC hyphen V let's get our IP address in here and again port 80 is what we're connecting to we're gonna hit enter what do we want we're looking for a header return. 
Ah, typo. If you look right here, space, slash, and I didn't put another space in there. So let's try this again. Hit enter twice. Now we get some different information. Check out the server results right here. That's telling us the technologies that's actually hosting our website. We're seeing that the actual server itself is returning an HTTP coded response of 200, meaning, okay, we're going to actually let's fill this response and provide some information. Gives us, if we want to see the actual page, index.html is their main page. We're finding out what the site is actually powered by but we got some really good information from there so that was helpful what you're gonna wanna do this is gonna be a deliverable for you find a site of interest perform this netcat attempt to connect at port 80 and just see what kind of results you get back from a banner grab